David the Freemason Ike has um, attempted um, to <laughs> to uh, uh, call me names, basically. I mean, he's called me an idiot or something. Look, it's, it's on his website, uh, which is davidike.com, and the headlines are David Ike outed as a Freemason. Okay, and you click that, and it takes you to this page here. Now, this is a page that David Ike has written because he's referring to himself in this page, and I put a link in the description. And it's and it's dated Friday the 26th of March 2010 at 10:38. Okay, so it says David Ike outed as a Freemason. Shock! It says here. Now he's put a picture of a little child there laughing. I suppose that's his response, is it? Um, and it says, no honest, don't laugh. This is me below apparently, third from the left. So there's a picture of, uh, of some people dressed up as masons in a lodge. And this one here looks very much like Mr. David Icke. And um, there is a blog spot website up, um, which says it's the, you know, it's the website of, of the uh, uh, Lodge of Angels. And uh, it says, Worshipful Brother David Icke. And I, I, I made a video of that and I showed that. And uh, this is his response now to, to, these, to these two things. He says, I'm told they call me W Brother David Icke. Now he's got a picture there of a cat yawning, which is supposed to look like a cat laughing. This is the response of the great David Icke to, to me. Let's keep going. And then he says, I know, but it keeps them off the streets, bless them. And he's got a picture of... Um, uh, uh, of a chimpanzee uh, yawning or something, which is supposed to be a chimpanzee laughing, I suppose, as well. Now let's go down. And then it says, please read this world exclusive. I suspected for a long time he mixed info with fear-mongering disinfo. Now I know for sure David Icke is busted. I didn't say that. If you can find that um, anywhere on my videos, um, well, I will shine Mr. Icke's shoes on camera, okay? That's a lie. And I'm sure that Mr. Ike would now take me up on that, of course, and, uh, you know, make me uh, um, shiny shoes if I had actually said that. But that's never going to happen. No, I think he's going to polish mine. And then he's got a picture of a woman with her hands on her knees laughing. All of this is nothing to do with the two videos that I made. These are just random pictures. This is his response. Now, this is where Mr. Ike, because he does not have an answer, and whenever people do not have an answer, they resort to personal attacks. And David Ike has now written on his website, this prat, referring to me, even made a video, enjoy. And he's got the video there about the Ride Lodge, the Lodge of Angels. It's, it's on the internet. Okay, but let's take it another step further because I made another video um, with Bill and Kerry from Project Camelot um, uh, giving uh, David Icke Masonic handshakes. Wonderful. Well, thank you. Watch the handshakes. It's been a, a, a pleasure. Thanks, Bill. Thank you so much. Cheers. First, the woman shakes hands with him and she presses his uh, in between the first two the first two knuckles there, and then this guy here shakes hands with David Icke and presses between these knuckles here. Wonderful. Watch the handshakes. It's been a, a, a pleasure. Thanks, Bill. Cheers. So maybe you'd like to put that one up there as well, Dave, would you? Call me a prat. Uh, let me tell you something now, mate. My work, uh, well, your work, compared to my work, is crap. Those of you who've been following my work on the internet on the past couple of years know that in my video series, Nibiru Palace, uh, part 1 to 13 up to this moment in time, I've deciphered the biblical 666 code and exposed the name of the beast as Helios, which is the other name for Apollyon. I've also broken the Masonic chessboard floor and chessboard, and I've also deciphered the Mayan calendar. Well, beat that, David Icke. My work is something special. Yours is just problem, reaction, solution. So problem is, I make this video, your reaction is to uh, put up a website with chimpanzees and random people laughing and animals yawning and stuff. This is, this is your response, the great David Icke. Huh? Yeah, okay, let's just keep going. And then it says, you couldn't make it up, oh sorry, he just did. What did I make up? I showed what's on the internet. So that's a statement of an idiot. Keep going. If I was, and if I was a Freemason covertly manipulating, I'm going to post for a picture on the website of a Freemasonic lodge with my name underneath, right? Well, if it was an old one, before you were well known.
I suppose you would. Let's keep going. Then we've got 12 pictures here of random people who have nothing to do with David Icke, laughing or what have you, a little baby laughing, an orangutan looking like it's laughing, a cat yawning, um, and, uh, and a jackass there. Interesting story about the jackass, because it's, when it brays, it says EO, EO, doesn't it? You know, and EO is the name of Helios. Um, so um, perhaps he's giving us a little dig there. But um, uh, you can read about that in the Keber and Agast, by the way, um, if you dig it up off the internet. Keber and Agast, and it will tell you that the daughters, uh, sorry, that the um, family of Cain mixed the horse and the, and the donkey together and produced the mule, which was against God. So this was the first abomination animal, is the jackass. It is uh, it is a half-breed animal which should not exist. So, carrying on, I must, it says, and, and a few people can't control the world, it's a piece of cake. What the hell is that supposed to mean? And the few people can't control the world, it's a piece of cake. I, just, I can't work out what that's saying. What, what is that all about? Moving on, I must have a new book coming out that is going to blow the conspiracy wide open and it won't be the last effort to discredit me and my work in 2010, as I have long known. But come on, chaps, you can do better than this, surely. Finally, let's get to the end of this, because I'm getting bored with him now. Oh yes, one other thing. I'm six feet one, so bloody hell, I must be surrounded by giants. The guy at the back on the left must be Godzilla. And he's got that picture there that's uh, from that ride lodge, which is on the Isle of Wight, by the way. So he says that the way that this picture is, that the guy behind him over there must be a giant because it looks taller than it looks taller than him. But it's a camera angle, isn't it? If I take a camera angle from up here somewhere, yeah, I'm gonna make people look shorter and smaller in perspective, depending on where I take the camera angle from. Otherwise the floor would be on a hill, wouldn't it? Do you know what? I have lost so much respect for you, David Dyke that you could come out with something like that and try and claim that the person behind you must be a giant? Is that the best you've got? Is are these your investigation skills on a picture that taken from an angle that you would say that the person behind you must be a giant? No, mate, my work is better than yours. My brain is clearly better than yours. My eloquence is better than yours. And I don't have to resort to pathetic tactics like putting pictures of cats yawning, donkeys or jackasses braying, etc., uh, which are nothing to do with anything to try and cover up. No, no, I don't just believe that you're a Freemason. I'm utterly convinced that you are a Freemason. And I can also see that you are also a very immature and childish individual who comes back with personal attacks and ridiculous statements about someone being a giant in a picture because you haven't got anything. That's all you've got. No, the gorilla owns you because you have got less sense than the gorilla, in my personal opinion. And I think many people will agree once they look at this crap. By the way, people, make sure that you look at my video where Mr. Ike is receiving Masonic handshakes from Bill and Kerry from Project Camelot. Wonderful. Well, thank you. Watch the handshakes. It's been a, a, a pleasure. Thanks, Bill. Cheers. And perhaps Mr. Ike would like to put up another page on his website explaining that. Or perhaps he may not bother because all we're going to see is pictures of cats and dogs and monkeys yawning. Well, yeah, I'm yawning at you too. Boring. Definitely a Freemason, in my opinion anyway.